Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today I thought that I would show you how to get a lot of winter tokens. I know I've done this video already but it's been a few days and since then we've gotten some new ways of, you know, getting the winter tokens. And I also feel like I didn't explain some things as well as I could. And obviously since it's been a few days I do have some more information than I did before. So as always I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it. So I've decided to make this video because I still see some people having problems with you know how to actually get the winter tokens and I also get quite a few comments about how I have so many winter tokens. And the simple answer to this question is I just have like my daily routine where I get all of the winter tokens that I can in a day and then I just save them up because I just want to go on a like a big winter token exchange shops shopping spree. But if you're interested in my like getting the winter tokens routine, I usually do the morning blizzard and then I don't have enough time to do the winter festivities at that hour because I usually go and do the blizzard 10 minutes before it ends because I don't have time before and I'm just kind of uh, panicking in the morning because I'm never sure if I'm gonna make it but so far I've I, I don't even know how but I did so then I do the three winter festivities at 10 a.m. then I do all of the races and then I just do the six other winter festivities when I have time and I also do the blizzard but yeah that's just kind of my routine right now but yeah now let's just get into how to actually get the winter tokens so winter tokens are this year's event tokens or so we'll said this about them so what can you do with all these winter tokens exchange them for prizes ranging from a brand new outfit to XP for your horse, maybe even a cute companion. Find a helper bingle in the winter village to learn more about the winter tokens and how to exchange them. So yeah, this is the gist of the winter tokens. There's quite a few things that you can get from them. There's a lot of really nice tag clothing and you can also get two free pets. And I made a video about how to get them, but it's really not that complicated. But if you're still interested, I'm gonna put the link in the description and in the upper right corner. So the first way to get the winter tokens is by doing the quests. I know I've already talked about this and by now everyone's done all of the quests that they can. I think the only people that haven't done all of the quests yet are the people that, you know, haven't really had time to log on yet. But I just wanted to give a heads up since the blizzard will be disappearing this next update. We're not gonna have a blizzard anymore, but we're going to get a new quest line where we're presumably gonna get quite a few winter tokens. So this is what Starsable said about this Wednesday. Finally, the storms have passed. Anyway, back to work. Ranger Joyce needs help capturing photos of Arctic foxes, but something abominable can be seen through the lens. So I think this next Wednesday we're just going to get the beginning of the quest line. So I'm not even really sure why we can't have the blizzard for one more week, but that's Starsable's decision. I guess. And then the week after that, we're going to get the full quest. Star Sobo said, what you uncovered through the lens is your next epic adventure. Prep your snowball skills, a battle is about to begin. So there's some spoilers ahead if you don't want to see them skip a bit, but we've already gotten some spoilers about what this quest is going to look like. It seems like we're going to see a yeti and we're going to have a snowball fight with it. I don't think it's gonna be a serious like fight or whatever and I do hope that we get quite a few like winter tokens I'm hoping at least like 20 throughout all of the quests but obviously I I, I don't know but I feel like we're gonna get quite a lot of I don't know two winter tokens and I hope that we can get some other activity that we can do as a rip as a replacement to the blizzard where we can still get some um, winter tokens. But yeah, that's something that we're gonna get the next week. 
And now let's get onto the other ways of how you can get the winter tokens. The other way is the Yule Tree gifts. Here is Star Sable's description of the Yule Tree. They said, visit the Yule Tree at the center of the winter village each day in December to unwrap a new treat. There are seven gifts already waiting for you. Don't worry if you miss a day, gifts will remain wrapped and waiting until you return. Just don't forget to collect them all before Wednesday update on January 11th. And I think when we get winter tokens, we get two of them. So I'm not sure when the last time that we got that was. But yeah, basically we already got two winter tokens from the Yule Tree. But we also get two winter tokens on December 20th which is tomorrow for most people, so make sure to go check out the Yule Tree. The next way to get the winter tokens is the blizzard. Star Sable said this about the blizzard. Once you've completed your winter village intro, the story must go on. Our hero will brave the chill of the sudden blizzard and help those in need. Our weather forecast predicts that blizzards will hit random spots in Jorvik every day between the hours of 8 to 10 a.m. and 5 to 7 p.m. The blizzards won't be hard to spot. A distinctive snow flurry in the sky will guide you to your hero's quests. Blizzards are predicted for the next two weeks only, so hurry and locate them. Keep in mind that the blizzards are based on your server time. There will be one quest for every snow crisis period, meaning two per day. One quest will be available to all players and one to star riders only. You will be granted winter tokens upon completing your quests. So I've already made a more in-depth video about the blizzards, so kind of a blizzard guide. So if you're interested, I'm going to put the link in the description and in the upper right corner. But again, the blizzards appear two times a day from 8 to 10 a.m. and from 5 to 7 p.m. So I think by now everyone knows that the blizzards are kind of controversial because of the times. I'm not even going to go into that, but by doing each blizzard, you get 40 character XP, so you can get 80 character XP a day. And you also get, I think, four to six winter tokens for every blizzard. I think sometimes when, when you're done with all of the blizzard quests, you can still talk to Roven and, and you'll get two additional winter tokens and sometimes you cannot. So I think you get 10 winter tokens a day from that, but I'm not completely sure. Also, I think if you do six blizzards, you also get some uh, tack and clothing, which is nice. But Star Sable didn't mention that anywhere, which is another thing that I'm not even gonna comment on. But I did talk about, you know, this whole controversy and how to get clothes on another video of mine. So again, I'm gonna put the link in the description and all of that. But yeah, that's another way of getting the winter tokens and some extra character XP. But it really is a shame that they decided on this times and then stuck to it. Like, I feel like they had enough time to at least expand it by four hours because I'm sorry, but these times are really inconvenient. I saw one comment when they said that they wanted to make a one hour window for doing the blizzard and I, I, I honestly don't know what they're thinking. Now there's also three different races which give you two winter tokens each. Two of them are in the winter village and those are Jingle's first and frosty race revisited and the winter village race which we got this week. And there's also a daily dose of easy freezy race in the Veildale, in Veildale village, on the Silver Song River. And you also get two winter tokens with that. I mean, I think the races are nice. You get some Jorvik shillings, winter tokens and horse XP. But I still wish that we got more than just two winter tokens, though then I guess we might be able to buy the whole shop really quickly. But another thing that we got during this new update was the eight kits first, where we have to help some foxes. So the carpens, which are the little like elves or whatever in the winter village are obsessed with the foxes and we have to help them. I'm going to show you on screen where you can do this uh, 
request or daily or because I know some people were really confused and didn't know how to do it. Uh, but yeah, you get five character XP, you get two winter tokens and I believe some Jorvik shillings. And it's also cool because you can change into a different animal. And it is a really quick activity, so you can like really quickly get the winter tokens. And the last thing that will get you nine winter tokens per day is the winter festivities. Star Stable said this about them on their website, they said there's even more winter merriment to be explored. Every day, nine unique festivities will appear that reward winter tokens. Three festivities will appear every hour and rotate at the top of the hour, meaning you have several chances to catch each one. Make sure to visit your week at different times throughout the day to enjoy them all. Each festivity will reward you once per day, though we are welcome to try them each time they appear. How can you find these festivities? Look to the sky. The Aurora Borealis has appeared to guide you. Or check out the map if you're directionally challenged. Some festivities are for you to relax and enjoy, like cozying up for a story in the stables. Others are for you to create your own fun with friends. We also have games for you adventure seekers. One thing is for sure, there is an activity for everyone. We've switched up the locations of festivities from previous years. Two festivities per hour can be found in the winter village, while one remaining will spawn somewhere in Jorvik. Some festivities might be locked behind star rider areas. So as I said, you can get up to nine winter tokens from doing the festivities. There's a bunch of different ones. But I think the most confusing part is that you can still see them and do them even if you've done them. And then you know, you do them sometimes and you're wondering why you didn't get the winter token and the reason why you didn't get the winter token is because you've already done this festivity. So I do recommend writing down the hour when you've done the winter festivity because it is a cycle, but I mean they're kind of fun. So I would like if two of them weren't in the winter village because there are only like three different locations for the winter festivities in there and that's, I don't know, it just gets so boring and so still really quickly. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today's video. I hope this helps, but if you have any more questions, you can comment down below. But as always, I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!